Word Power 108 with Keyboard, a new addition to the suite of Word Power files. 108 locations with a keyboard built into the main screen. It is a vocabulary consisting of high frequency core words, spelling, and word prediction. With the keyboard on the main page, the communicator moves seamlessly between words and spelling, thus minimizing keystrokes and the need for navigation. Common core words are embedded within the category pages in order to assist in bridging the gap between core and fringe. Let's explore. On the main page, you will see the QWERTY keyboard, which gives easy access to word prediction when characters are selected. It allows the communicator to select words through buttons or through typing or through a combination. Category pages include some embedded core as well. sounds have also been included in this file. WordPower 48 Espanol Basico is a new addition to our Spanish systems. As a new WordPower Spanish system, it offers a 48 location vocabulary developed with early language learners in mind. It provides ample picture support and novel structures to facilitate expressive language development. Core vocabulary is embedded in the category and activity pages allowing for easy generation of language from the main core page as well as within the topic based pages. The core word placement remains consistent providing a natural bridge between core and fringe. Let's take a brief tour.
I want to watch TV. Quiero ver la televisión. Quiero ver la televisión. I feel happy. Me siento feliz. Me siento feliz. Observe the direct link to related categories that are included. Quiero comer pizza con pepperoni y vegetales. Quiero comer pizza con pepperoni y vegetales. I want to play with cars. Quiero jugar. Quiero jugar con carritos. Next, we'll take a look at verb form agreement. Yo ayudo. Yo ayudo. Tú ayudas. Tú ayudas. Next, we'll observe masculine and feminine noun agreement with adjectives. The black horse. The white cats. La, las, gata, gatas. Blancas, las gatas blancas. Let's take a look at a few categories with embedded core. I have two fish. I am coloring a picture. Yo estoy coloreando un dibujo. Yo estoy coloreando un dibujo. Do you like to paint? Te gusta. I like to listen to music. Me gusta escuchar música. Me gusta escuchar música. A new button action was added to the chat system. We can create a button that allows a photo to be taken and saved to that button with the Take a Photo button action. I will set up an example of how it might be used in a vocabulary option. Please note that if a communicator takes an extreme number of photos, it may fill up the memory of the device. You would be able to connect the device by way of USB cable and access the photo gallery to delete unwanted photos if necessary. You will also note that the button action allows a new picture to be taken in that place over and over again. I will use the WordPower 60 basic file and select the photos button found under groups. I am going to customize the options so that the communicator could be ready to take pictures on that page. I might set this page up for a field trip or a vacation, creating an opportunity for a communicator to capture moments from the trip. Or another idea might be capturing moments in a day at work or class. I am going to create a page for favorite books. So I'll tap Menu, Edit Mode, I'll select my button edit the button, 
And I'm going to create a label for favorite books. I could select an image if I wanted to through the find feature, but I'm gonna go ahead and just save the button. I'm gonna tap that button so that it opens up my page. And now I'll program a button to create a camera. Edit button. I'm not going to put anything in the label or in the message. I'm gonna go ahead and find a picture of a camera. search. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this camera that's under symbol sticks. I'll go to my button actions. I'm going to delete that speech message. Add an action. Scroll till I find. Take photo. Tap save. I'm going to go ahead and copy that button and paste it onto the other ones. I've now set the page up to take six photos on this page. Again, that button action allows you to retake photos over and over again. So if I wanted to take a picture of some of my favorite books, I'm going to go ahead and slide a book under. I'm going to hit take a photo. I took a photo of the book and I can say save. It assigns it a number. I could rename that if I wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And you can see now that that took a picture of one of the books. I'll do it one more time. So Five Little Ladybugs is now in my photo. I'm going to hit save. It assigns a number. I'll hit save again. And it's now in my library. Just to show you that if I were to take that photo again, it's always just a button action, so I would end up replacing that photo. The auditory prompt feature has been updated to allow individual control of auditory prompt volume, whether it is heard through the device speaker, headphones, or a pillow speaker. A prompt speaker volume may be lower or higher than the communicator's speaking volume. First, I'll demonstrate where the prompt volume and the communicator's volume are nearly the same. Now we will change the setting to create a prompt that will be at a lower volume than the communicator's output would be. Tap Menu, Settings, Input, scroll down to Scanning, I'll go to Auditory Prompts, and I will go to that Prompt Volume, and I can reduce the prompt volume. Tap OK, use the Go Back arrow, go back to the vocabulary. And let's check it out. Talk. What? I want. Ball. Wheelchair. Bubbles. To blow bubbles. Up. Down. Blow the bubbles down. 